Malaysia's Prime Minister has called into question the findings of the Dutch-led investigation into the downing of flight MH17 over Ukraine in 2014. Mahathir Mohamed says the international inquiry, which alleged that Russia was complicit in the atrocity, was politicised and has not found enough evidence to support its conclusions. He also claimed Malaysia has not been allowed to inspect the plane's black boxes. They are accusing Russians of firing the missile. But what is the evidence? It could even be the Ukrainian government because they too have the same missile. Five years have passed, but it only seems like it happened yesterday. You know, I was uh, there, one of the first reporters on the scene. So we have uh, the Malaysian uh, prime minister who says Malaysia accepts the results of the investigation. However, they accept it to uh, certain points. They accept that the plane was brought down by a Russian missile. But as to who the assailant is, that has not been concluded, and this is what Malaysia has a problem with at the moment. Uh, also, uh, there is uh, absolutely nothing that supports the investigators' claim that the weapon was actually smuggled from Russia, and after the deed, it was taken uh, back from the Ukrainian territory. Which is, which there were claims that uh, the missile be belonged to the Russian military. Moscow obviously denied uh, all those claims, and what they did was actually trace its uh, origin back to the Soviet Union. The uh, missile was manufactured in the Soviet Union, but then it was was routed to Ukraine, and this is where it remained uh, for, for the rest of the time. And uh, also, Russian Defense Ministry said that uh, the type of weapon that the Joint Investigation Committee claimed was used is not being utilized in the Russian army in this 21st century. The last time they used it was back in 1999. Roman, how did the investigation then, when you lay it out like that, actually come to such conclusions. Right. Well, we began this uh, story with the what uh, the Malaysian Prime Minister is uh, saying. So I think we should get back to him because he's explaining okay. it uh, best, in my opinion. Let's have a listen. We don't know why we are excluded from the examination. But from the very beginning, we see too much politics in it. The idea was not to find out how this happened and all that, but they seem to be concentrated on trying to pin it on Russia. Had it been a neutral party examining and making conclusions, we are always willing to accept. But here we have parties who have some uh, political interest in the matter. Well, there you go. Prime Minister of Malaysia say, saying himself, political reasons are behind it. Uh, right from the get-go, from the very beginning, everybody was accusing the Russian Federation of what had happened. And uh, also, each time we heard some revelations from the investigation team, it was highly likely Russia this, highly likely Russia uh, that. We're more than convinced that it was Russia. However, there was never... Uh, ever any undeniable uh, proof that would uh, say that this is exactly who the culprit is. And uh, also, from the, from the very start, the inquiry methods uh, themselves, well, they did raise a few eyebrows around the world. First of all, Ukraine was allowed to participate in, in the investigation. That's a country who did not close their airspace uh, while there was an internal conflict going on uh, in Ukraine. And uh, also, Prime Minister of Malaysia was saying it too. MH17 belongs to Malaysia. It's a Malaysian airline. However, that country was not allowed to participate in the investigation of the black boxes. So quite a few things there that raise eyebrows around the world.